This is a 7-Eleven surveillance video. Trayvon already has his iced tea, watermelon flavored Arizona, in a can. And he goes over here to get his Skittles and proceeds to come to the counter and you notice the height difference. The cashier looks like he's going to be about 5 foot 8 maybe. He's bent over here digging in his pockets for change and he's still taller than the cashier standing straight up. The only thing I saw that night, I heard the crying. We were in the kitchen, I heard the crying. It was a little boy. It was a little boy. It was a little boy. This goes to show you that the narrative that the media put out with him and his little white graduation outfit from elementary school and then the and then also the little one with the hoodie yeah, if, you, if you saw this video and said who is that in there after all this hubbub about it you'd say i don't know who that kid is you gotta be told it's trayvon you can see his face in here a couple different places in the video you can see after he pays for his food he goes to walk out trayvon goes to leave and he turns back around trayvon goes to the middle of the store and bends over and picks something up and then he goes back here to the other corner and look down uh, the street part where he got his tea and then quick down where he got his skittles and if you notice the cashier he's way over in the corner here watching what trayvon's doing this is another angle of the transaction between trayvon and the cashier so when he actually paid for it yeah, this view of the video does not show Trayvon turning back around after he left to go pick up wherever he picked up over at the back of the store. But you notice the whole time he had his hoodie on and never took it off, never put it down. Keep in mind it was raining that night and it was 60 degrees. Some of the wind gusts were up to 22 miles an hour. Yeah, plus he's from Miami, so he's freezing. It would have been common courtesy, though, when you go into a convenience store at night to put your hoodie down. 